What's up babes, it's your girl Maya Chanel and if you clicked on this video, chances are you're looking to get monetized on YouTube, you're trying to figure out how, and I'm here to share all the deets with y'all. I finally got monetized on YouTube so I do want to share and help each and every one of you in the process and explain my entire journey as well, how long it took me to get monetized and go from there. So stay tuned. All right, so if you are looking to get monetized, you already know that in order to be able to apply for monetization, you have to have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours within a 12 month period. So you're probably trying to figure out how do you get subscribers? How do you obtain a large following within a six month period? Now there's several different ways that you could do this. I've tried so many different methods within my 12 month period and I was able to monetize actually I think it was like a couple months a couple weeks before my 12 month period so I, I was I barely made the cut y'all I barely made the cut but your girl didn't make it okay so um some things that I tried at first I didn't know what niche I wanted to be in finding your niche if you can find videos and things that your audience is going to look for then you have struggled okay so because I was sitting there trying for the longest to sit here and say, okay, what kind of videos do I want to make? I knew I wanted my channel to be like a business lifestyle type of channel, but I didn't even know that at first. I think I learned that maybe three months in to doing YouTube and creating videos and creating content for my users, um, for my supporters. Um, but finding your niche is really important and if you don't know how to find your niche, if you just want to get out there, if you want to create like an entertainment type channel, if you want to just have people notice you, react to certain videos within your niche because that is going to get people to notice who you are, they're going to subscribe to you based on your personality. If you have a great personality, if you give great insight, then people are going to subscribe to you. Secondly, find content that is useful for others, how-to videos. Um, review videos, unboxings. I have found a lot of success by doing videos like that and helping individuals understand, you know, what it is for this because you have to, you have to do things that people are going to search for. Making your titles SEO searchable so that they have great SEO scores. Um, being able to create the content that people are going to want to see, people are going to see that it's entertaining, it's informative, or it's helpful to them in any way. Because if you don't attract them within the first, I would say like five seconds, then you're done. You're done. Okay. You're going down in the algorithm. The YouTube is not going to push, push your video out as much. And you just got to try again on the next video. Simple as that. But I've tried several different ways. I mean, I've tried just creating content out of the wazoo. I, <laughs> I don't even know. I was just like creating stuff and I was just like, okay, kind of got to get this down packed. So then I realized that I wanted, I had to figure out what I wanted my channel to be about. So I wanted my channel to be about um, business lifestyle. I am an entrepreneur. So I wanted people, I didn't want to just produce strictly business content. But I did want to show people the ins and outs of an entrepreneur. I want them to show them different things that I'm learning on my journey as well as different things that I have already learned and also be able to show them my life because, you know, business gets boring after a while. Like, it, it gets boring. You want to see some fun stuff. And I'm not going to sit here and bore you with business content all day long. So it's a business lifestyle channel, just attracting different audiences. And I know that it's easier to... Um, attract just that one main audience because it may have some of your subscribers drop off if they aren't interested in some of your content but for me I know that it has to be for me or I'm not going to enjoy being a creator on YouTube I have to know that it's getting boring for me to sit here and just talk about business things all the time so I need to have some fun with it I need to show different things here showcase this part of my life and you know you can always control what you showcase so don't think that you have to just sit here and record every single single day of your life every single waking moment it is what you want your audience to know about you what you want your audience to be able to see and it's all up to you but um yeah so I had to make it interesting for Maya I had to make it interesting for me because I feel like if I'm not true to myself then I'm not going to be the creator that's enjoyable for my audience and you have to be real with yourself now I also did try a lot of reaction videos if you go down to my channel you will see a bunch of reaction videos I got tons of watch hours from that 
tons, 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 tons of watch hours. Now, yeah, be careful because a lot of them will get copywritten. So you do not want copyright. Let me tell y'all, I got one copyright strike, a whole strike. Now, if y'all know copyright strikes, if you get three, you're out. YouTube is going to take your channel away. Take your whole channel away. I was like literally panicking. I was like, oh my God, what did I do wrong that I got a freaking copyright strike? But it goes away after three months. So it was able to go away, I think, by December. In December it went away and I was able to finally monetize my channel in January. So I was like, oh, we lit, we in there, we in there, we in there. But, um, <laughs> so yeah, um, being able to find those different avenues. Now, a lot of you, some people may try to do ads here and there. I will tell you with my experience with doing ads. Um, the, the biggest downfall with doing ads on your videos now when you're trying to monetize is that if you're trying to get your audience to be in a certain demographic, sometimes doing ads may cause them to be in an entirely different country that may, when you do get monetized, make your, you know, your monetary value go down in a way because your audience is not in the U.S. or wherever you're based. So, um, I would... Definitely try to stray away from ads while you're in the in the growth phase of trying to get monetized just because it can hurt you in the long run. Um, you're not going to have actual supporters who are going to be going back to back to back for you because I didn't start gaining actual supporters until I started doing my review videos and my business videos and I was providing content on where to get different shipping supplies. I was providing content on um, blue light glasses, different review videos here and there. I've even done lifestyle review videos where I was comparing and reviewing skincare scrubs and that's where I got my audience from a lot of people. I even compared cameras that um, a lot of people use and that I feel like is like, was one of my biggest videos. But my um, reaction videos as well gave me the watch hours that I needed. And I was able to accumulate those very fast, especially being able to have those certain videos, those review videos gain a huge liking, a huge following and obtain a lot of views. So I was able to easily obtain, I think I had my watch hours like two months before I was able to monetize. I was just sitting there trying to get those those um those subscribers so y'all are here now so y'all go vouch for me tell your friends to come and join the family your girl is fun she's insightful she's helpful she's informative all of that in the above so um back to the regular schedule program another way to gain subscribers find youtubers or influencers that are in your niche that don't you think that that you align with their audience so if they are willing to give you a shout out in their video or promote you on their page or promote you in their um, community tab um, a lot of these do charge fees but I was able to gain like a huge following and loyal fan base from doing little promotions like this and that and I think that is more much more effective than doing an ad because a lot of times you gain loyal followers um, from those within the YouTube community versus just throwing an ad out there anywhere on the internet because those ads do go to different platforms. It's not just strictly on YouTube. Um, you will get a lot of views, but those views aren't able to be counted. At, well, all of them aren't able to be counted as monetization hours. So you have to be very careful with that. Um, Next thing I want to say about getting monetized, the whole process that it took. So y'all got to see, you know, how I was able to get monetized now, the whole time framing of the process. Now this will be different with everyone because it does take different times based off of YouTube, how busy they are, how many people are, they have to review at the time. So I got my 1000 subscribers. I, like I told y'all, I already had the hours like two months beforehand now I got my 1,000 subscribers on a Friday I applied immediately I did now you it's three steps that you have to go through it's the first step you have to review the guidelines I reviewed the guidelines submitted it and then you have to create an AdSense account now you can't do this unless YouTube allows you to do it so you had to apply for the AdSense account and then 
um, once you put in all of your information now you don't have to put in any bank account information or anything like that it's really just kind of like creating an account not really much personal information other than like your address and your name and different things like that but um you know you don't have to put in bank account information you're not gonna put that yet until you earn your first hundred dollars um now after that that took they had to review it and connect it to my account I think that took like a full 24 hours or so I, I want to say so then I was able to it just automatically jumps you into the third step which is where YouTube has to review you so I think from Saturday to I want to say Monday or Tuesday is when I was actually able to monetize so I think it was like Monday so I think you know they don't work on the weekend so when the weekday came they were actually able to process me and go ahead and invite me to the YouTube partner program so your girl was so excited I have been working so hard I want to be able to provide content with you guys and be able to share this experience so overall Friday Saturday Sunday Monday like four days it probably would have been shorter if I hadn't done it over the weekend but it does some I've heard people say that it takes up to a month or two months for them to um, have the whole review take place and be approved so I definitely think that it depends on the time um, when you're applying when you make it and how many people they have to review in order for you to be able to be monetized now gets into the real thing I will update you guys in the process so far your girl has made a whole two dollars big bank bro <laughs> a whole two dollars but I'll update y'all in the process as I learn more about being in the product program and um just to let you know like they don't just turn all your your ads on you gotta go in there and work for that I had like a hundred something videos and I had to go turn on monetization for each and every single video each and every single video okay so they gonna make you put in some work they gonna they ain't gonna just give it to you okay so if you are looking I hope this video was helpful for you in getting a little insight about how to be able to monetize your channel how to be able to gain those subscribers gain a loyal fan base and gain those hours so I hope this was helpful make sure you guys subscribe to join the tribe turn the notification bell on and like this video comment below any questions that you have or any other tips that you want to offer to anyone that is looking to watch this video until next time it's your girl Maya Chanel and I'll see y'all next time